Hello everybody, this is Giant Orange, and today I'm going to be talking about the Halberdiers, one of my favourite units. These guys have a bunch of strengths and weaknesses. One of their greatest weaknesses is they do get blown up by ranged units, which is why it's always good to have a shield wall in front of the Halberdiers, soaking up any ranged damage that does come in. Meanwhile, your unit does provide support for the shields as they can easily wipe out anything that does come into contact with them when they're in Brace. And that is something you have to make sure you are using. If you're not using Brace, this unit is basically a waste of time in my opinion. The charge isn't nearly as impressive as some other units. And once they have charged in, they usually get deleted rather quickly. And one thing you may have noticed, all these situations are rather similar. I have a bunch of allies in front of my Halberdiers. Which allows me to use the weapon's length. I don't have to be on the front to be dealing damage. I can be just behind that front line. Also, it counters that weakness of getting blown up by range. The other thing you may have noticed, I'm always defending as well. The reason being, the enemy has to push those points eventually. So that increases the chances the enemy is just going to run straight into your embrace. Where it's definitely much different when you're attacking, you're the one with the time limit you have to push. So if you bring Halberdiers and you go into Brace outside of their cap point, they don't give a shit. They can easily ignore your unit and just wait for the timer to run out. Also keep in mind this unit doesn't have the strongest rear or side defense. So you want to look for a point where you don't have too much of a chance of getting attacks from all sides. Like on this map, I actually enjoy defending A. I know most people don't. The reason being, they usually only come from one direction at a time. So you can move between the different entry points, deleting anyone who does try to come in. And in my experience, a lot of people who do defend A bring their worst units, which is actually good for the Halberdiers because those cheap units can't stay in formation. They always push to the front, which provides your Halberdiers some cover. Also, the other great thing about this map and many others is that there's walls. You can hide your Halberdiers behind in case there's ranged outside. And with that weapon length, you will still cover most of the entry points. And this is pretty much an ideal situation. You have the shields there, and inside that are the Halberdiers and ranged units. It's going to be very hard for the enemy to push without taking massive casualties. This is a fair few minutes later. Unfortunately, someone did lock the main gate so we couldn't get reinforcements. But as you can see, that defense did last a long time. We don't manage to hold it, but we almost got there. And it definitely put the pressure on the enemy. It's going to be a hard push to win this one. I do attempt to jump down there to stop the cap, but I'll live for about two seconds. <laughs> it doesn't actually stop it. Another tip about the Halberds is that you can just drop them straight on the enemy. It does a ridiculous amount of damage to heroes, especially if they don't have many units about to soak up that damage. Also, you can drop that brace on top of shield walls. It does pretty damn well, as long as they don't have range units behind them. When I say these guys are weak against range, I mean they fucking just melt. So that is the thing you have to worry about the most. This is not the most ideal situation because there can be range units down below shooting up into my halberdiers, or in this case they just come up the ramp, use those shields as a barricade and shoot my dudes to death. Once a few of you guys die, it really ruins that formation. They spaz out and start moving around a bit too much and they stop dealing damage. When it comes to veteran the C points, I went to the bottom line because it does have that increased brace damage. And in my opinion, that is what this unit is all about. The top line is mostly things to do with your charge. And since the charge on the Halberdiers isn't that great, they don't really have the formation for it. I just think if I wanted a unit with a good charge, I'll go Pikes or Cav. These guys I'd rather use more defensively. In summary, when you are using the Halberdiers, you want to be using that Brace ability, and that's best in defensive situations. So that's what I bring them for, usually at the start of the game. Because in Sieges, at the start, there are a lot of choke points you can cut off. When I'm on the offense, I leave these guys at home. They're not the best at pushing. I'd rather trade them out for some swords or pikes, etc. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and all that shit. Also, I've been a bit slack when it comes to making videos. I took a bit of a break from the game. I've only been playing it rather casually. 
But now that the border is about to open up, I believe it's today they open up. Ah uh, yeah, it should be a lot more exciting once again. Also, Noctum Invicti is recruiting. That's the main house, not Noctum Invictus, but Noctum Invicti. Also, if you're an Aussie like me, the Knights of Oz are also recruiting. They're a bloody great bunch of blokes, so check them out if you're in the Oceanic region. Anyway guys, that's me done for now. In the meantime, enjoy your gaming.